Hello everyone, this is Wanda, the Foil and Rock Lady, and I am doing a sunflower that Rockin.KK did. Um, she's Rockin.KK on Instagram, Miss Katie Thompson. Uh, she did this sunflower with um, white chalk paint as a base down here on the rock. And then she used ink tents, watercolor pencils by Derwent to um, do the paint work underneath there to get that beautiful yellow color. And then she did foils on top to get this beautiful quilted patchwork effect on the sunflower. I've been asked to make a tutorial for this, so I agreed. Um, what we did was we cut out a from the Cricut that I just got, we've been playing around with it. So we cut out this design as practice and put it on a rock and she painted it and it's just beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial so you guys can make one yourselves. But what I'm going to do, instead of doing it on this rock to save some tutorial time so you guys don't have to sit for hours and wait, <laughs> um, I'm going to use a Santorini, which is already white. So Imagine we painted our rock white with chalk paint, or you can start on a Santorini and be ready to go just like me. So this is the one that Katie did, that rock, that sunflower right there. And this is the one I'm going to do just to save time. So I blocked out the center. Not sure what I'm going to do there yet. We'll keep this for reference. If you want to go see this in person, you can go to uh, rockin.kk on Instagram. Or um, Santorini Stones by Shelly on Facebook. And um, that's where the stone is from. She's on both places and you can find that uh, photograph in either one of those places. Okay, so to start here, I'm going I'm going to use the Chromatech watercolor brush pens to put the color down in the sunflower. And we're going to be foiling, so let me, sorry, go through that. SXD Nail Art Foil Glue is what we're going to be using today for the glue. MAC Art 6 Watt Mini Light. Some nail foils. Holographic Floral is the basic, what we're doing today. And I already told you about the pans. I have a disposable eyeliner brush here. And I think that's all we're going to need. I might be using the Posca to reline if I get out of the lines. But we'll start here. Okay, this is dark brown. So since it already has the shading in it, I'm just going to do just a tad. Not too much. Just right around the shadows already. And I think before I go too far, <laughs> I'm going to keep coloring out here. This is ginger. Oh, Santorinis are so beautiful. And Shelly has beautiful Santorinis. You must go check that out. dark brown boy these watercolor brush pens sure do make easy work of painting <laughs> ginger and if you get too much color on your brush just wipe it off on a paper towel dry towel you can rinse it in the water too if you need to it'll come back to its color And just a little of the ginger out here. The main difference between this sunflower and the other one I'm sure you saw is it's thicker on the lining. And this is a vinyl sticker from a Cricut. Uh, it's thicker on the lining and we don't have that extra set of leaves out here. Whoops. 
see if I can remove that real quick. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with the deep yellow in here. Yellow it up a bit. I'm doing that before I go and bring my light yellow into this. Don't worry about coloring on your vinyl because it won't show. When we get to the nail foils, that'll be a little different, but. Notice I'm not really being careful or nothing like that. <laughs> well, I think I'm just going to skip into the lemon yellow. I wasn't sure how many layers I would need, but I think this might work. So from the outside now, working in, bring your lemon yellow and paint over everything. And then pick up some of that darker color and wipe your tip off on a dry towel or a towel. Oops. Try not to lift your vinyl. Cricut is amazing for giving you some wonderful ways to uh, work with painting or designs. I have a really hard time drawing. As you know, I usually transfer images by tracing or decoupage or something of the like. And then I will do my painting and foiling from that point. So Cricut is allowing me one more tool to put in my arsenal so I can do the art that I love because I get frustrated when I <laughs> try to draw. I do try, just so you know, and sometimes I do draw a little bit, but generally it's second grade scary. <laughs> Okay, paint's done. You gotta give that just a moment to let it dry. You don't wanna apply uh, wet or nail glue onto anything water-based that won't cure correctly. I'm just taking up some of that watercolor off the vinyl so we can dry here. You know, I might take a paper towel. So pretty. And don't you worry about your vinyl going dull or anything like that because, you know, you got to seal it. And generally, uh, some sort of resin or high gloss would be used. So I think we can safely assume that it will all be sealed and lay down nicely and stay. Stay where put. <laughs> okay. Colors away, foils in. Okay, so I am going to pour some glue off into my well. And since it's cold right now, gotta watch out for bubbles in your glue. I'm gonna try to make sure it's a little bit warm before you start working with it or you'll get wrinkles and bubbles in your foils. 
and we don't want that. So, and then pour it from the side a little bit so it doesn't make bubbles. Never shake your glue and don't dip, 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 dip. Don't, don't do that. I do that. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't watch me. Don't pump your bottle. All of those fun things that are so tempting and we love to do, don't, don't do any of those. <laughs> Okay, so also what we need to do is kind of map out our foils. And since Katie went around with these first, I'm going to follow her lead here. So there's 10 in here. We have eight big leaves, eight little leaves. So I need 16 total. So I think I'm going to stick with the floral, skip the animal prints, and... Uh, just take 16 florals out of these three boxes of foils. So we will start with, let's do some foil shopping here. I'm just going to cut off some sections. It's easier to work with. Okay, I got my 16 strips ready to go. My light is plugged in, ready to go. And here we go, let's get foiling. So I'm going to start here. And I'm gonna to try to keep my foil off of the, the black. I mean, yeah, my glue off the black. If you see bubbles, try to move them to the edge so that they don't interfere with your foil pattern. Okay, I'm going to cure that. Okay, I will start with this one. And you can get around these edges real good with a silicone tip nail tool. It'll lay down these foils without damaging or scratching them. One down, 15 to go. Isn't that pretty? Awesome job, Katie. Hopefully I can do something to make you proud here since I didn't pick exactly the same ones I think I'm just gonna start going around yes sir I will let's see what do I got here okay so I think I'll do this one here it's always fun having friends to collaborate with And I feel very blessed that the Miss Katie Thompson lives near me and we get to work together sometimes, do our art and have fun. Okay, cure that. Make sure your light doesn't get near your glue tray because that's a disaster. <laughs> okay, we will go... Yeah, let's go this way. Pretty, pretty. Two. I might do another layer and put a little more flowers in that one. I think I will. That way it's not so boring. 
So you can double layer foils, absolutely. If you do not like what you see, heck, just go ahead and make another layer. Pop some other, pop another layer of glue on there. Cure it. I'm gonna use a little spotlight here this time. Cure it and then refoil. And I'm gonna try to fill in the places that were sort of bare. Working with transparent foils, sometimes it's a hit or miss. Okay. That is a 12 volt little flashlight there that I just used. I think I'll go this way. No, I think I'll go this way. Yeah. Um, it's 12 volt LED, UV LED, a uh, flashlight, and it's a tad bit stronger than that, but yet it doesn't wrinkle and bubble up the glue. So it's nice for spot curing and on little projects like this. And if you're, it's not all the way cured, you can just stick it right back on there. It'll release sooner or later. There you go. Sometimes if your glue's not cured quite enough, it'll be too sticky to pull off and it'll start pulling up your glue and then that'll pull the paint up with it. So don't tug on it. If it feels like it's doing that, put it back down, put your light on top of it and let it cure a little bit more. Okay, if you're using metallic, uh, go slow <laughs> you might have you know if it's a full metallic foil you might have to peel it up and then re glue and do it again if it if it did that okay next one I don't know if you can see this, but I'm making mine with uh, depth and texture. See the bubble to it? I really love that, that look. Okay, we'll let that cure. Okay, that's cured. And I want this one. Very nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the glue and cure the next two. Okay, I went ahead and put the glue on all the rest of those top petals there. That way I could get around here in a timely fashion. Another tip as of late for foiling is when you are curing your sections, do your glue, put it in for the allotted time. Usually it's one cycle of 60 seconds. Um, then take it out, let it cool down for 10, 15 seconds. And then it sticks better. Who knew, right? Okay, what do you... What to put here? Oh, I like this one. I don't think I'll ever get tired of foils. <laughs> you know, why would you? Oh my 
my goodness, this is so pretty. I can't even stand it. Awesome sauce, Katie. Okay. Maybe this one over here. One more. I did part of it, so let's see. We'll do the other part of it with this guy. Did we already do no. Yay. Lucky. Gorgeous, huh? Of course, I put all the holographics on one side. That's silly me. <laughs> it's okay, though. We'll spread the love here. All right. So, starting on... Sorry about that. Starting on the smaller petals of our sunflower. Same thing. Fill in your painted area with glue and I'm going to do them all at once you don't need to do that you can do one at a time two at a time all of them depending on what level you're at and how comfortable you are with your foiling Okay, we're back. Have been fun. Okay, just going to lay down the remaining foils. This one's going to really hit one. Let's hang on to that one. It's a little big. And put this one here. Customized. <laughs> you may. Yes, you may. There's no rules to foil people. Oh, sorry for the bounce. Make it your own. Oh, that's pretty. You know, you do the red one there, and then you could turn it around and take the pink and or the purple part and have a totally different looking foil. And put some green in there. Voila. Look at that beauty. So I'm thinking the center part. You know, we have... It's a sunflower, so it's got usually seeds in the middle. I have a million foils, but... I have these snakeskin ones in here that I think would be really pretty in the center there. I just don't know how to, let's see if this is top to bottom, we could do a rainbow, I guess, to dark to pink. Oh, I think that'd be pretty, don't you guys? Sort of sunflowery. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's live a little. 
live life on the edge. Sorry about that. So, let's see. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is put a dollop of glue in the middle without getting bubbles in there. Do you remember that old commercial? Dollop of Daisy Sour Cream. It came to my mind. Totally sorry. All right, and then spread it around without making bubbles. So I'm going to spin my rock. It'll help to make a circle. Leave a small um, area, you know, like a border, like the rest, the liner we have around here. So leave about that much room. I don't know, what is that, an eighth of an inch? Um, around so that there's a definition. You know, nice line. Oh, this is going to be perfect. I might be biased, though, you know, because... I love foil, so anything with foil on it wins my love. I think it's ready for the light. Come to the light. All right, I'll turn that on. Please don't bubble, please don't wrinkle. Keep your fingers crossed, y'all. Come on. Oh no, it's wrinkling. Well, that's what happens when the temperature is too cold. Well, at least you guys will get to see it. Bummer. I think it'll still be good though. So, in this case, what I should have done, and I may still be able to save it, is put a base coat down like this. UV LED base coat it would take all that business out of there. We'll see what happens here. I think I will do it. Two more layers. A base coat and another blue coat. <laughs> okay. Actually, it might work for our sunflower look. Or our seed look. I'm going to keep it. Eh, I think it's going to work. But that's a wrinkle. That's caused from temperature. The glue is too cold. Okay. Let's see. I don't know. But, oh, there's the top. Okay. Let's start there. Because we have a bumpy surface now from our wrinkles, we've got to be real careful and make sure that it's down in all of those crevices. And peel away very slowly so that you can see if you're transferring your whole foil. And it's beautiful. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Ta-da! Well, KK, Miss Katie Thomas, challenge accepted. I think we have a winner here. Now, uh, to seal it, 
I don't see we need any touch up with the vinyl. It looks like it kept its uh, black really well. So we can write a word. Let's write smile. What do you guys think? Let me use my pencil a little bit and see if I can do it. Let's see. I'm not great at S's, but. I'm not good at hand lettering, but not too bad. So, you know, with hand lettering, the basic rule is thick on the down stroke. Thick on the down. Thin on the up. So I had a, and that would be thick on the down. Thin on the up. Thick on the down. Yeah, this M is probably not going to go. You know what? We're going to go with it. Thick on the down. Maybe not that thick. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. an eraser handy. Oh, something like this. Smile. I'll go ahead and just use Posca to fill that in. This is a black Posca 1MR. Ta -da. We need to let that dry, of course, before we do our Mr. Resin top coat. And I will do that with here, here today so you can see that again. Save your foils. See, we didn't even use that one. I have a foil catcher <laughs> jar. It's a remnant and unused pieces of foils which I probably should have pulled these out and used these on this little guy. Perfect. But I wanted to kind of follow what Katie did. So anyways, just to keep them in your remnant jar and then you can recycle, reuse, gift them to a friend, you know, a person who's starting foils or save them until maybe, you know, hard times hit and you can't afford a new thing of foils, then open them up and you got, you're like, oh my gosh, it's Christmas. That's how I do it. <laughs> Cause I can, you know, I go through lots of that needing sweet potato days, we call it. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna erase my pencil marks before I 
to Mr. Resin. And I keep a brush here for eraser bits. This is a stiff bristle Home Depot paintbrush. Pretty nice brush. I don't I think it's under five dollars, which is really expensive. But I got a little piece of glue there. The resin will cover it. No worries. I gotta do another little thing with Posca here. My eraser lightened it up a bit. Okay, so for Mr. Resin, heh, we have a rogue foil, so staticky. For Mr. Resin, you need a stronger light to cure it. So I use an 84 watt Beatles nail lamp, ah, sorry, <laughs> and I use the 120 second cycle three to four times depending on <laughs> stop it depending on how much resin I put on it and then I throw my stuff around my desk because you know Mr. Resin it's what I'm using in the winter during the cold months because I don't have good luck with resin and temperature as you noticed my wrinkles I'm in South Texas, and it is not what I would call cold, but it's under 72 degrees, so that is difficult for foil. This is a thick coat I'm putting on here, so I'll probably have to do four cycles, maybe even more. Okay, you still have to watch for bubbles, so if you see a bubble, try to flatten it out, okay? Have more than one pair of gloves handy when you're doing uh, foils and resin because you don't want to touch your stuff with resin or glue on your gloves if you're getting my drift here. So you just rub it around like you would. Just don't rub it on the bottom. That We're just doing the top. You have to do them separately. top first and then you can do your bottom I like to let it set overnight do the top let it set overnight just I don't know why I just do maybe it might not make a difference but to me I feel like it just makes more sense to just let it set you know it's kind of like letting your steak rest after it comes off the grill <laughs> And if you don't need it sealed right away and there's no rush, yeah, why rush it? But it can be done in, within minutes. That's what UV resin is about. It's instant gratification. Okay, so here, if I were smarter, I would have ha had myself set up right. Um, I'm going to grab my paper towel. You want to set your rock up a bit if your lights don't go all the way down the sides like that. So it's off the bottom by a couple of inches off the surface. That way it will cure the sides of your rock as well. I'm going to remove my gloves. Not touch the rock. You don't want this on your hands, trust me. You'll be wearing band-aids for life like me. <laughs> okay. 
in the light, light on three times minimum. Let it set for a few minutes. Um, when it cools down, if it's not tacky, you're good. If it is tacky, do another cycle, let it cool down. And that's how you check it. All right, we're all cured with Mr. Raisin, nice and shiny and glossy. Here it is. Nice and holographic. What a beautiful, beautiful flower. All right, thank you for joining me here today. If you liked what you saw, please hit subscribe and hit like. And if you'd like to see more of my content as it's being uploaded, if you'd like to be notified, hit the bell. And I will see you again real soon.